time to get a bit more updated. I got myself this. Let's see what we have inside. Very nice and slick box. Telephone dialing, messages, motion, and alarm clock. It's not doing what a smart watch is an example for Samsung is doing, but hey, and I like the way you can open it. Tips, please make PLS, please make a full charging before you use the smartwatch. That's very nice. Let's take it out. First things first. So this is how the smartwatch looks like. Quite sleek, to be honest. It looks a little bit, I mean, like an Apple Watch. Um, at the back, as you can see, there are a few sensors uh, for heart rate, fitness, tra fitness tracker and all that. Uh, it also has a charging cable. You have your standard USB here, and then you have this type of connection, which makes it quite easy to charge it as well. And it doesn't occupy like a lot of space to charge, you know, those wireless chargers from Samsung, uh, you know, as an example. It does look okay, but it does, you know, you do need quite some space. You can't carry uh, that around so easy as this one. And the way it's connecting, if you can see it has like a magnet, it's not going to let you connect it unless it's in like the right position and that's it well it's connected and you know it's gonna charge if you plug it in charging quite fast to be honest the only disadvantage with this, with this type of uh, connection is that if you lose this cable you need a proper replacement otherwise you just well you're done <laughs> you can't do anything without it now let's uh Let's check the watch a little bit. First things first, let's see how it fits. Okay, you have this rubber band. You just fit it here. It's your standard watch, whatever, right? Let's see, maybe a bit more tight. Yep, just like this. Push it through here. Let's see. One, two, all done. And it looks like this. Not bad, I will say. It's not bad. And then obviously you're gonna have your weather and all that. And um, I guess the best thing to do will be to go a little bit through the menu and kind of show you guys what you what you have available. So this is the, the well, the design pretty much of of you know the face itself. If you turn it around, it's going to go dark, and then if you put it back on, it's going to stay on, which is quite interesting. It says, stand up and move a little for one minute. Yeah, that's the settings that I, uh, I choose from, from the app. Right, so let's see what are the options here, and then we're going to go through the app as well. So first things first, we have a camera. So with this shutter, you can, you know, if you have your phone on a stand or something, you can action the camera of the phone, so you take photos, which is Interesting, I would say. Good enough. Uh, and then we're going to have the activity. And you'll be able to see the activity. Obviously, I just you know put the watch back on after a long time. So you only see like 23 steps, one calorie, um, you know, not much. Last uh, seven days record, just because I haven't been wearing it, it's, it's nothing there pretty much. And then you're going to have your sleep time. So it monitors, as long as you're wearing it, obviously it monitors your sleep and all that. And you can see your EDM, you know, how much you've been actually awake, you know, how much was like a uh, light outside and all that. It's quite, quite useful if you have issues with like uh, sleeping and if you want to monitor your sleep patterns. So I would strongly suggest you if you need something like that. And, you know, for, for this price, I mean, you know, if you're going to get yourself an Apple Watch or a Samsung Watch, it's going to be a lot more expensive. By the way, we do have a video with uh, with Samsung Watch and Galaxy Wearable as well, so feel free to watch that on the channel as well. Uh, the next one will be your, well, kind of the rest of the activities. Keep in mind that this is like a fit tracker. That's the main activity of this small watch. So, you know, the options that you have, it's activity, sleep, heart rate, phone calls, exercise, exercise records, blood pressure, uh, the oxygen in your blood, stress level, weather, the messages, the shutter is, I was saying, a player is for like music, relaxation, you have some AI voice, whatever. You know, there are quite, quite a few things that you might find useful, even a calculator, you know, some petty games, you know, 2080, which is interesting, but yeah. 
Uh, now moving to settings, uh, let's 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 go that first. So we have the display itself. You can uh, choose, you know, sort out the settings a little bit in brightness. Oop. You can choose the brightness. I usually keep it around mid. Sleep. Watch face. You can choose between watch faces. So you do have multiple options. Quite interesting. I'll show you a, a trick a bit later on as well in regards to, to this. Uh, let's go where we were. Uh, settings. <clears throat> Going back to the display uh, menu view, how we can kind of view the menu and all that. So yeah, if you want to see the whole menu. So, um, let's see. Wrist raise is that option where if you turn the watch like this, it's just gonna go dark. Otherwise, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna, you know, be on all the time. See the difference? Quite useful, I would say, to have it on because it does make sense. You know, you won't need the watch unless you know what I mean. <laughs> um, Right, vibrate and ring. Uh, if you are getting like uh, calls and all that being connected to your Bluetooth, uh, which definitely it's it's useful, you know, especially if you if you're getting calls and all that. If you're handling meetings, you know, don't want to always take your phone out, you know. D and D mode, so nothing is gonna show on the uh, on the screen. Low power mode is literally gonna go black and white. Um, the phone, if you wanna make calls and all that, system and about. If we go in about version we can see the version which is interesting i hey, don't hack it and app download is going to give you a qr code that you are going to scan it and that's going to take you to the duo dao app or something like that is called we're going to see it so you scan it with your phone boom just like this let me show so you go here camera let's try again And then you click on this link. It's gonna take you to where you can download the app. Boom. It's called DA Fit Dafit. You click install and that's it. I'm just gonna click open. We, we're gonna go through the details of the app as well. Right. Um, let's go ahead and kind of test, you know, test everything, sort of speaking, because uh, why not? Oh, very interesting. What we have here, by the way, is like a business card. So I put my a LinkedIn business card so people can scan it and they're gonna take you to LinkedIn you can obviously you know add other e-cards as well it's pretty much like a you know a photo <laughs> image if you want to take it that way right so let's go for heart rate and it measures right now my heart rate and see if I'm doing okay hopefully mm, you know hopefully I'm past the time when I was uh, both excited and a bit concerned about how the review is gonna is gonna be. Looks like I have a 72 BPM, 74. The more I hold my breath and speak at the same time, it's gonna go up. As you can see, being silent does affect. So I, I do believe it kind of kind of works, right? Because every time you are doing some additional effort, even if that's just you know talking and all that, it, it, it does require a bit of more uh, BPM. So that's been measured. Uh, it says I'm Gucci, pretty much. Let's go for the next one. Activity. Um, blood pressure. Let's go.
It's 12 with 8. I mean, I'm, I'm good to go, man. <laughs> I'm as good as gold, right? Um, it does reflect the, the reality kind of, right? Okay, let's go back. Let's see what else do we have. Uh, oxygen level. I'm not sure exactly how they are measuring the oxygen in in the blood, but hey, how you know? Like, what do I know? <laughs> uh, the oxygen level should be about 95 or something like that. I must be wrong. You know, please do correct me in the comments if if I'm wrong with that. But I think that should be just about it. Ninety-seven. Let's go. Good as gold. What else do we have? The stress level. Let's see. Am I stressed or not? I should be like keeping quiet and you know, just be in my natural state. Actually, I think that if I'm going to speak, it will you know, it will reflect an honest, you know, kind of uh, measuring. Um, you know, considering that. I do speak a lot. I mean, even for my work, I'm kind of always on the phone or doing something. So I think measuring the stress level, if it imp it's impacted by being, by doing something or not, you know, I suppose the stress level will be a bit different, you know, if, if you do some labor work or something. You know what? Actually, that will be interesting. Maybe we can normal. My stress level is 46. That's normal. How do I? Let's see. Relaxed should be between 1 and 29, normal between 30 and 59, medium 60, 79. Hey, you know what? Being normal, I think it's okay. I should be relaxed though. You know what? If you guys want me to kind of try and test this one out and try and relax myself, you know, getting myself under some sort of stress, I'll try and see if I can kind of, you know, um, take my body to, 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 you know, put my body in such a conditions where it's going to be reflected by, by the stress level. I'll see. Maybe that's that's possible. I don't know. How old I know? Weather. Do we have internet? We don't have internet. I'm not sure if it's connected or what was the deal here. Messages, if you want to see the messages. Player. You know, play music. You know what? It's better that we can't. Relaxation. What is that? Stressed. Start. Okay, I'm not going to do this for two minutes. I guess we got the point. Uh, let's go ahead and check the app as well. And the reason we want to check the app is because obviously it's, you know, it's connected to the watch itself. Now in the app, we have the menu at the bottom. Um, and then for the first one, it will be technically the stats for today. As you can see, it's Saturday, 24th of August. We did 23 steps, you know, heart rate being measured was 68. Uh, we don't have a sleep because I was wearing it at night. Full day heart rate, you know, I just measured it once. PHP, which is the um, the heart rate, pretty much. And it shows in here. The oxygen level shows in here. And also the stress level should be should be showing here. Maybe we need to refresh the app. Well, it's not showing the, the weight. Well, intake reminder, you know, if you have, you had, have you had your water or not for the day, that's... You know, that could be very useful as well. Um, so uh, you have a couple of workout uh, programs here, which I find them very interesting. Now think about the following thing, right? This is a free app, right? The program is free, man. You know, you just buy the watch for whatever price you're going to find it, the best deal under 20 pounds or so. And then you're going to have a couple of like loss weight exercises, building muscles, you know, some gym exercises, training your core muscles, your chest. I mean, it's quite, quite in depth, to be honest with you. You know, maybe you guys, if you are into fitness, you could actually, you know, check it and see if it's worthwhile or not. And also you have some uh, meditation, you know, white noise for falling asleep, uh, mindful breathing, 
gratitude guide. I mean, that's just like very interesting, you know, for sleep, relax, focus, emotion management, scene. In the box, uh, we have the watch itself, which looks like this. Uh, at the back, as you can see, there are a few sensors uh, for heart rate, fitness, tra fitness tracker and all that. Uh, it also has a charging cable. You have your standard USB here. And then you have this type of connection, which makes it quite easy to charge it as well. And it doesn't occupy like a lot of space to charge, you know, those wireless chargers from Samsung, uh, you know, as an example. It does look okay, but it does, you know, you do need quite some space. You can't carry uh, that around so easy as this one. And the way it's connecting, if you can see it has like a magnet, it's not going to let you connect it unless it's in like the right position. And that's it. Well, it's connected and, you know, it's going to charge if you plug it in. Charging quite fast, to be honest. The only disadvantage with this, with this type of uh, connection is that if you lose this cable, you need a proper replacement. Otherwise, you just, well, you're done. <laughs> you can't do anything without it. Now, let's, uh, let's check the watch a little bit. First things first, let's see how it fits. Okay. You have this rubber band. You just fit it here. It's your standard watch, whatever, right? Let's see, maybe a bit more tight. Yep, just like this. Push it through here. Let's see. One, two, all done. And it looks like this. Not bad, I will say. It's not bad. And then obviously you're going to have your weather and all that. And um, I guess the best thing to do will be to go a little bit through the menu and kind of show you guys what you what you have available. So this is the, the well, the design pretty much of, of, you know, the face itself. If you turn it around, it's going to go dark. And then if you put it back on, it's going to stay on, which is quite interesting. It says, stand up and move a little for one minute. Yeah, that's the settings that I, uh, I choose from, from the app. Right, so let's see what are the options here, and then we're going to go through the app as well. So first things first, we have a camera. So with this shutter, you can, you know, if you have your phone on a stand or something, you can action the camera of the phone, so you take photos. 